Hello, welcome to the Action Brick, and welcome to another episode in my dinosaur building series. And this is a little bit different. Uh, today I have a Lego creation uh, based on a scene from a very famous scene, actually, based on the film Jurassic Park. And this is a scene that I'm pretty sure every single one of you have seen. Dr. Grant, my dear Dr. Sutton, welcome to Jurassic Park. So in this mock, I have included the most basic and important elements of the scene, uh, one being a Brachiosaurus and another being the Jurassic Park Jeep, and of course the main cast of characters. You got John Hammond, Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Ian Malcolm, and the lawyer. I don't really know his name, but you get the idea. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into this mock. First up, we have John Hammond, easily one of the most likable characters in all of Jurassic Park, I would think. Um, but anyways, his face, as you probably noticed, is that of Henry Jones Sr. from the Lego Indiana Jones line. One of my favorite themes of all time in terms of Lego. Really wish they would bring that back. But anyways, his torso is that of Han Solo at the end of Empire Strikes Back and beginning of Return of the Jedi. And finally, for his staff, I used a four-stud long tan pole and put some studs on top as the amber. So that is John Hammond. Up next we have Alan Grant and this is basically the same one that was in the new Jurassic Park Velociraptor chase set. Uh, the only difference is that in this one he has Emmett's hair to closely resemble the one that was in the Lego Jurassic World video game. Personally I just thought it looked way better that way. Up next we have Ellie Sattler, and just like Alan Grant, this is LEGO's official version. I've only changed the hair. Uh, it's in a ponytail as opposed to it being let down, and in her right hand she has a little prehistoric plant. And here we have the beloved Ian Malcolm, played by the great Jeff Goldblum, even though they're basically the same person. Um, but anyways, his torso is actually pretty interesting. Uh, I have used the Lego Vacation Batman from the Series 1 of the Lego Batman collectible minifigures. Uh, this is the one that came with the floaty and the swim trunks. Um, but anyways, what I did was I erased all of those little yellow Batman logos uh, with an eraser and I had to do it very carefully and put tape over some parts just to make sure I just got every single detail right on it and basically I was left with this nice little black shirt for Ian Malcolm to wear and I'd use a similar technique for his face. Uh, that is a Harry Potter headpiece. I just erased the scar. And finally we have the lawyer. Nothing really too interesting about this minifigure. He's got the torso of Professor Lupin just in case you were wondering. Uh, but yeah that's the lawyer. Here we have the Jeep. Now one of the biggest challenges when building the Jurassic Park Jeep was maintaining a lack of decals. To me, the accuracy of the Jeep's exterior was a top priority, which made the model unconventional in its structure and delicate in a few areas, uh, one example being the frame here in the back. The car can seat three minifigures comfortably, but more can be added if you don't mind it being crowded. One final neat feature is that the front wheels can turn. Finally, we have the Brachiosaurus, and to demonstrate the size of this thing, here it is next to a minifigure. Pretty big. The Brachiosaurus stands at 20 centimeters tall and 30 centimeters long. The neck is held together by ball joints making it very flexible. The front legs rotate but do not bend, and the back legs rotate and bend. And the tail, of course, does move. Well that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments down below, and even if you didn't, I'd love to hear from you. Also, what is your favorite scene from any of the Jurassic movies? Mine personally is the T-Rex breakout from the first Jurassic Park. Great scene. Uh, in the description down below, there will be a link to all of the dinosaur mocks that I have made, and my friend Josh, that we have made in the past few years, so if you want to see some more dino mocks, there will be a link. Uh, to that playlist in the description. So uh, feel free to check that out. Um, but with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and stay cool.